speaker will be Isabella Coe from Mrs. Jensen's class. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Isabella Coe, the student of the year for the school year of 2013 through 14. All of you have probably heard me speak in front of a large crowd like this many times and think I'm like an expert or a pro at composing speeches already. But let me tell you something. This speech was actually very difficult to write because I know it would be truly be my last one. I wanted to get you thinking and leave an impact on all of you. Many of you have probably heard the saying, no man is an island. This proverb means that we are not, we are not alone. There are always people there to guide us and help us get through challenges in life. This saying basically describes how I live. This story was told to many of you also already. When I was eight months old, I had to be hospitalized because I had a heart condition. I, I had surgery to close up a hole and infection in my heart, and I still have a scar on my chest today. Growing up, I was a very sick child. I saw a cardiologist for years and years, took a lot of different kinds of medicine, and had many tests done on me. And now, my doctor has discharged me. I am healthy and have survived. With the help... With the help of my doctors, nurses, family, and friends, I was able to beat the odds because no man is an island. I didn't do it alone. We are standing here today because we are moving on to the next chapter of our lives. We have worked, studied, listened, and obeyed. But do you think we did it all by ourselves? No, we didn't. It is the people around us that have helped and guided us to be on this stage. The people around me have helped me in so many ways. All the teachers that have taught me before and now are a huge part of that. My past and present teachers have supported and watched over me ever since I arrived at the school in second grade. Even with the teachers that were never my teachers, still who recognize me and my work. My family and friends are the ones behind the scenes. They do so many things for me that there's just too many to list. So, can't you see? No man is an island. I didn't do it alone. In middle school, there are going to be many ups and downs. Some people there will be your bullies, and others will be your friends. Sometimes you may feel unwanted or excluded, like no one will listen or talk to you. If you are being bullied, ignored, pushed around, or think no one likes you because you're different, remember, everyone in that room is probably feeling the same way. In order to surpass these kinds of problems, we have to be smart enough to put ourselves around people who like us for us, are always there when we need help, and help us to better ourselves and not to worsen. To gain these trustworthy, trustworthy friends, we have to not ignore people. We have to be friendly and smile, because a smile can go a very long way. It is very contagious. If we want to be successful and achieve so much more, these friends are the people, other than our families and teachers and everyone else like that, that can guide us because no man is an island. We cannot get through middle school alone. You are probably wondering how I know all these things about middle school. I have two older sisters. They didn't do it alone. Here is my advice to you all. Anytime, go look at your family and friends and be thankful. The saying, no man is an island, is 100% true. Because look at our audience. These people are here to support and watch us for one. We are never, ever alone. So don't be afraid to ask for help and need it. We need to learn how to appreciate what's right in front of us. We are still young. Let's enjoy every minute of this time being at our age. Don't force yourself to grow up so fast. Don't rush to be older because when we do get to that age, we are going to miss all of this. All of the things we get to do and have now. 
Lastly, school is something that kids are around our age take for granted. Our education is important because later on, it will determine where you might live or work, what you will be. Let's all keep a promise to ourselves that we will all keep on setting goals for ourselves, whether big or small, and continue school after middle school and high school. Tomorrow is our last day of elementary school. When leaving, don't say goodbye. Goodbye means we are going to be away forever. And we are all surely going to be come back from time to time to visit. Say, see you later. Thank you for giving me this honor to speak in front of all of you. So, see you later. Have a course, family.